comes to diversity in workforce, it's important to realize what those diversities are and what they're defined as. Diversities usually include age, gender, race, culture, the religion that they practice, their sexual orientation, the abilities that they may or may not be able to perform, and the type of education that an individual has, whether it is a GED, a high school degree, or even a college degree. Um, this wide mix of persons in your workforce can more than likely be a benef benefit to the company, uh, culturally speaking. Um, but this wide array of different people will generally create a more um, stable working environment where everyone is able to freely voice their opinions and no one feels like they're being exploited. As a manager, it's really important to uh, realize that you are in charge of all of these diverse characters and that no two people can be treated the same and you need to respect everyone equally. Um, when you're posting job openings, it is imperative that you figure out exactly wh who you want to hire and advertise the job appropriately. Um, descriptions that can be confusing may lead to people who th may lead to people interviewing who think they are qualified and they are not qualified, and it'll be just a mix-up and it won't be really that great for everyone. But if the if it's very explicit and able to it encompasses everyone essentially everyone um, no matter like what their disability is or anything like that um, it's best to advertise um, and notify all types of community centers including disability centers and uh, community outreach centers um, after advertising it is important to retain those newly hired diverse workers um, with a high with a high turnover rate and no diversity in the workforce, it can be it can look very bad on upon your business, because um, then it just seems like oh we're gonna hire these people but we're not gonna like them because they're different than us. So by having a high turnover rate, it's it'll just get confusing and a lot of people will look weary towards working for your company. To retain as many uh, employees as possible, it is important that they feel valued within the company. Um, so that they feel valued, you can use compensation, um, which generally is more or less you can do monetary things or you can just use like recognition for the goals that have been met or even just res respecting the person that they are. Um, for an example of a diverse, a diverse workforce, um, I'm going to use my the area that I work at. I work at the front desk of the student union at UNLV. Um, it is a very, it's a very diverse staff. There's n not a single person who's the same. We have um, people from Serbian descent. We have people from Mexican descent. From we ev basically everyone's from all corners of life. We have people who are gay. We have people who are straight. We have people who are bi, and everyone works efficiently and effectively. And it just goes really well. Um, it also helps that our boss is also an African American and is gay as well. So he's able to really um, create a culture within our workforce that really just accepts diversity and allows us to work the best that we can. And it's also very much open and everyone's able to talk freely and no one feels like they're being taken advantage of. It's just generally a really great place to work at and it's pretty much the epitome of what a diverse staff and workforce should look like. Everyone is able to work freely and efe efficiently and effectively.